Part of synthesis questions that came from the first exam involved Diels Alder. Diels Alder questions are, are Diels Alder synthesis involving questions always end up having a six membered ring in them because Diels Alder reactions are specific to forming six membered rings. So they're one of four reactions that allow you to do that. Other reactions that make for six membered rings being the Robinson annulation, which was from exam three, the olefin metathesis reaction, which was from exam three, and um, the malonic ester synthesis reaction, which was also from exam three. But for exam one, this is your go-to reaction for making six-membered rings. Now let's remember what we do to make that six-membered ring. We take a diene, which is four carbons with two double bonds, a single bond apart, and then a carbon-carbon double bond like that. We mix them together with heat, and that will give you a six-member ring with one double bond inside of it. Now, the way you always remember where those things are is one, two, three. The two and three should always be the single bond between the two double bonds of your diene. One and four can be here and here, and you can switch them, but it doesn't really matter, and then five and six. These numbers are the more arbitrary ones, but always keep the, double, the single bond between two and three, because that will tell you where your double bond forms. The double bond will always form between two and three in the final ring, and then I have one, four, five, and six after that, okay? Now there's an additional rule that when it comes down to synthesis is always going to be true, and that is on your dienophile, you must always have a strong with or not a strong, but a good withdrawing group. Most typically for synthesis purposes, that will be a double bond O. And when that becomes a six-member ring, well here's carbon six right here. That'll have the carbon, the double bond O. And the methyl. Now I'm leaving out stereochemistry, but tip because typically the Diels Alder themed synthesis questions leave out the stereochemistry as well. So I'm not going to focus on that for the for these videos. Um, that said, let's look at some practice problems now.